Hey guys, in this JavaScript challenge, we were going to create a function that takes in the string or a sentence as an argument and returns the longest word in a string. So if we're console logging our function, and if I pass the sentence of I woke up early today, the longest word will be early, as well as if I'm going to run the same function with the sentence of I went straight to the beach, then the longest word will going to be straight. So let's start working on it. And as always, as a side note, this is obviously not the only way how we can create this solution, but this is just a solution that I chose. So first and foremost, we're going to create obviously a function. So for that, we need a function keyword. Then we're going to write the function name will going to be longest word. And then we're just going to say that as a parameter, we're going to be passing in the string. So that obviously is our parameter. And then here in the console log, this is going to be the actual arg argument that we're passing in. All right, just for the kickers, we can just do the return. And then we can just say that we're going to be returning, I don't know, the string that we just passed in. Just so we can see that actually function is working and I didn't make any mistakes with the wording or anything like that. All right, so far so good. Everything is working fine. So what we're going to do next? Well, probably I would want to split up the string because there's no way for me to check it with an actual string. So probably I would want to split it with a method that I have on a string that splits it into array. So how this is going to work, I'm going to say, all right, so there will going to be a new variable. The name will be words, and then we're going to use string. So whatever we're passing in here as a parameter or as an argument, and then we're going to use a split method. Now, what we need to be careful with a split method is that we need to be able to tell where are we going to be splitting this. So in our case, I want to split this up everywhere. Where is the space? However, if you're going to just omit that, then this is going to split up into everything that you have right now in a string. So let me show you how this is going to work. So let's say I'm going to do a console log and we're going to console log out the words. I'm going to say what the words are going to be. Now you can see that each and every character right now is split into a item within the array. And that's obviously not what we're looking for. So what I would like to do is split up here within the spaces. So everywhere where I have the space, obviously right now I'm going to have the item within the array. So the zero index is going to be I, then I have woke and up early today. So this is going to split up my argument into array on an array of items. And each and every item we're going to represent the word. And now I'm just going to set up a new variable. I'm going to say, all right, so there will going to be variable. The variable name will going to be longest word. And that is going to be equal at the moment with just a empty string. So far, so good. And why don't we do this? Why don't we set up a for of and that is going to be for of loop. And in that way, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through an array, the one that we have over here. And obviously you can, like I said, use the for each or any other method that you would like. But in my case, or not a method, maybe uh, you can obviously use a actual for loop. But what I would like is to use for off. And that way we can also check it out how this is going to work. So I could just say, all right, for that will be the syntax. Then we need to say what would be the item. So in this case, I'm going to say let word that will going to represent each and every item in this array. And then I'm going to say off. And now I need to say what kind of array. So in my case, I'm going to say, well, the array of words. That's what going to be what we're looping through. And as I'm looping, now I can obviously check first. As always, I can just say, OK, console log, show me each and every item that I'm getting. And it should be noticed that obviously we're going to be getting everything that we already had before. So I woke up early today. And what we can do right now is we can check the length. I can say, all right, so if I'm getting each and every word that we're going to be in that words array, why don't we do this? Why don't we say, all right, if words... So that will represent each and every word in this array or item in the array. And I can just check the length of that word. And I can say if the length of this item will going to be longer than the longest word, then the longest word will going to become that word. So I'm going to say longest, longest word. That obviously is my variable. And then we can just check the length. Now, in this case, obviously, in the very beginning, the length is going to be what? Well, the length is going to be zero because that is an empty string. So first item automatically is going to become that longest word. 
but as we continue looping, we're gonna be checking, and I'm gonna say, all right, if and then just say longest word will be equal to a word that we're getting. And now let's see what we're getting. Well, first of all, we're getting back the string because we just return it. But why don't we return the longest word? And now, obviously, everything is empty because there has to be some kind of mistake. And let's check it out. Well, obviously, the mistake is my tapping a length. So let's try that again. And yep, everything is working. So as I'm checking the longest word function with an argument of I woke up early today, the longest word is going to be early. In the same way, if I'm going to be checking this function with a I went straight to the beach, then the longest word will be, you guessed it, the straight.